Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to kind of be a response or um, yeah I'll call it a response video to a video that was recently published by the trained ferret on the Lacey Act amendments. If you have not seen that video I highly recommend that you please go and check it out. I will put a link in the description. I will also put a link above. Um, basically the Lacey Act amendments are amendments that are going to be or have been put into a bill called the Americans Compete Act. This bill is in was in the House of, of Representatives. It has been passed on to the Senate um, to be sort of voted on and then once there it will be finalized um, and then it turns into federal law. Basically the Lacey Act amendments has the potential if it is passed to prohibit the transport and ex import not export the transport and import of ferrets and other pets basically all other pets with the exception of dog cats and farm animals but it would prohibit you from being able to transport your ferret from state to state so let's say that i want to move from my home in pennsylvania to north carolina i would be unable to take my ferrets because i wouldn't be allowed to transport them across state lines um, i would also be unable to take my ferret to another state if that state had vet care that i really really needed to, to for my ferret i would be unable to do that as well um, and this isn't just for ferrets i want to just be really clear here that this is a fact this could uh, impact any species with the exception of cats, dogs, and farm animals. So I want to just make that really clear. So if you're watching this and you own a turtle or you own a lizard or you own um, a guinea pig, if, if it isn't a dog, cat, or a farm animal, your pet is in jeopardy of being impacted by this bill as well. How this all came to be is lots of times there are bills that are passed. They are really large. This particular bill is over 3,000 pages. Somebody decided it would be good to throw in the Lacey Act amendments. Their bill is so big. No one is really probably paying attention or has taken a second. It may not even be intentional um, to cause this type of harm. The bill itself, the Americans Compete Act, is put in place to help boost the economy and to help businesses. It is not meant to do any harm to businesses or to pet owners. So right now the way it's set up is that the federal government would have the total authority over enforcing this bill. It would then take any rules and regulations on owning these particular animals out of the hands of the states um, and it would all go into the federal government's hands. They would and could potentially add any animals to this list of what's called injurious animals, uh, meaning that they're not allowed to be transported from state to state. They don't have the time. They probably won't take the time. Public opinion won't matter. You can send letters after this bill is passed. You can protest. You can do anything you want to and it does not, it will not make a difference. So we need to stop this before it gets passed. Um, Obviously, there are groups out there that can fight this bill once it is passed. That is all that's going to do is cause a lot of delay. It's going to cost a lot of money. The price of your animals are going to go up. The price of the care is going to go up. We want to get to this before it gets passed. That's the idea. So um, there's a lot more about this. And I am going to put links so that you can read it. And I really, really, again, want to stress that you go and check out the video from Courtney at The Trained Ferret because she does an excellent job of going over this in far more detail than I just did. I don't want to do the same video as her because I don't see the point in that. But what I do want to do is I want to show you guys how, what steps I took to contact my local U.S. Senators. The way to stop this bill from being passed is to contact your local U.S. Senator for your state. For me, I would contact the Senators in Pennsylvania um, and I would need to write them a letter or contact them through their website where you can send a message. It's kind of like sending a letter, but it's through the website. And I could also call them on the phone. Um, they're recommending that you not do a formal letter. And the reason that I wanted to do this video is because I don't know that many, if any of you know this or not, but prior to YouTube and prior to having Etsy be my primary source of income, I worked at a law firm and I actually managed a law firm and I'm a paralegal and we worked, I worked in the federal sector. And so I have a lot of experience contacting senators. Um, it's just something I did as part of my job on a regular basis. So because I had the experience and I know how this is done, I thought it would be cool to have you guys watch me do it so that you know it is not scary, it is not hard, they are not mean to you. As long as you are respectful and that you say what you need in a kind way, um, you will probably get a great response. Don't count on your neighbor to do this. Don't assume that because I did it and all the other ferret people did it that if you don't do it, it's going to be fine. That's not how it works. There has been so many studies shown that when that you know people as a community just assume well the next person will take care of it and by doing that it doesn't get taken care of and then the bad thing happens so don't assume that someone else is going to do it and by us doing it you don't have to do it and it's going to be okay 
please, after watching this video, go online and look up your local U.S. Senator, not your state Senator, your U.S. Senator, the one that goes to D.C. and votes on all the bills for you, um, for the country. So for me, that we have two in our state. I'm going to do some, um, pull up my screen here. I'm going to walk you through exactly what I did to contact them and tell them my opinion and ask them respectfully to not vote for the Lacey Act amendments that are in the American Competes Act. So um, I will also put all this information into the description. I'll put a link on how you can find your own U.S. Senators in the state that you live in. I'm going to put a link to all the information on the Lacey Act amendments. I will put links to ferret.org who has a ton of information who is fighting very hard to stop this from happening. Um, I will put a link to anything else that I referenced in this video. Please enjoy this video. Please, please, when you're done, please get online and do the same. We really need your support. Your ferrets need your support and not just for the ferret community. Do this for anybody else who has a pet that is not a cat, dog, or a farm animal because those are the pets that are going to be impacted. First, I drafted my response or my request for my senator to vote no to the Lacey Act amendments. I'm going to put a link in the description to a website that gives great example letters on this exact topic and how to write your senator. I then went on to Google and searched my U.S. Senators for my state. For me, it's Bob Casey and Pat Toomey. I just clicked on the contact button under their name, where you'll be brought to the website. You can select the topic that you want to discuss. Because the bill is for economic purposes, I choose chose economy. Fill in your personal information. I then went and copied my letter pasted it in the message box. I filled in the message subject box. I reviewed my letter, my personal information to make sure it was accurate, and I hit submit. You'll receive a thank you message, and then in a couple of days, you should receive an email and a response from your senator. It may take them a little bit of time, so just be aware of that. Sometimes it can take them a week or so. In addition, I did the exact same thing for the other senator in my state. I highly recommend that if you haven't heard or received a response back from your senator within seven days, business days, that you contact their office by phone, make sure that they got your message, and just make sure you reiterate that you do not wish for them to vote yes on the Lacey Act amendments, that you would like for them to vote no. When you call, you're probably going to want to reiterate your reasoning for asking that they vote no on the Lacey Act amendments. The other thing I want to say is if in the future you have anything that you are passionate about, any kind of laws or bills or any change you want to see that comes from our federal government, this is how you get your voice heard. You contact your U.S. Senator. Um, your state Senator deals with your state things and your U.S. Senator deals with the federal government bills and laws. And that's how you do it. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please go let your voice be heard.